Good morning. Trevor apparently is going to help me with this video of a shoebox for a boy, age two to four. This is Noah's Ark theme. And I think I'm going to have to add a couple more animals because when I peeked under the lid here, it seems like there's some space. I don't remember there being space, but I'll have to fill it in now that I know it's there. Um, my personal philosophy is to not ship air. Um, each child only gets one shoe box in their lifetime, or at least that's the way it's supposed to work. Uh, I mean, if they move somewhere far away, maybe more, but it's supposed to be one box per lifetime. So I want that one box to be the best box it can be. And I want it just bursting at the seams with God's love. And that's, like I said, that's my personal philosophy. I try and make sure they're always full, full, full. Um, so this one looks full when he first opens it. Um, so there's obviously some animal things here on the top. So he has this fun animal bag. Uh, this is from Dollar General up near their checkout. Um, they had these and some princess tea party kind and uh, oh now I can't remember the third kind that was a childlike one. So I got several of these. Um, but now you can see the hole I was talking about. I don't remember that hole being there, but that's going to have to get filled. I'm not happy with that. Um, he has an Animal Crossing shirt. Uh, it was the one I had that had the most animals on it in a child two to four size. This one is a, actually a boy's small. Um, but you can always wear clothing that's a little too big. It's hard to wear it if it's too small. And then you can see underneath what we've got going here. Okay, so he has some flip-flops. Uh, these are the toddler kind with the back strap that have whales all over them. So those were donated to me um, by someone who was moving out of town and couldn't take her or didn't want to take her OCC stash with her. Um, so she gave me several boxes of it. So thank you for that. Here's a little stuffed giraffe. Like I said, I think I'll add a few more animals. Um, he has this bag that has plastic animals in it. So he has a bunch. I didn't have two. I, felt I wanted to do two. So we've got a little elephant and some kind of gazelle. I'm not sure what type that is. A lion. They're mostly African animals. A hippo. A giraffe and a zebra and then there's also a little bush so the colored ziploc bags i get from walmart they're on the bottom shelf in their ziploc section um, the box looks like this you get a hundred bags uh 25 of each color blue red green yellow and they cost the same as the clear ones so I picked those up to put toys in. I just think it's a little extra fun. Um, then he has a ball. It's deflated right now, but it's got a giraffe on it. It's a wild kratz. This is from Dollar Tree. And it, at Dollar Tree, they're inflated. And then I deflated it and included a pump. And I left the tag on because it says what it is. It's got the needle in it. This is from Dollar General. So, when it gets there, mom or dad can blow that back up for him. We've got an Ikea spoon and a Dr. Fresh toothbrush from Walmart. Uh, those come in multi-packs. You're allowed to open multi-packs of anything. Um, nothing you send has to have packaging on it except for soap. It used to be nothing, but now they've suggested we leave packaging on soap. But everything else... Feel free to take off as much packaging as you want. Um, some people like to leave a little bit on it to show that something's new, but you do not have to prove that anything is new. Um, the processing center goes by what it looks like. So we have here uh, pencils and eraser, and one of these pencils is a jumbo preschool style. Lucy, are you going to help too? This is one of my other cats, Lucy. I have three. You cannot lay down in the middle of everything. Sorry, baby. They're very helpful. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, I should find the... Uh-oh! Good thing I went back through this box. Unless the pencil sharpener's hiding in the puzzle, I need a pencil sharpener. So a little pop toy. Uh, this one was from Walmart Summer Toys. So I got it on clearance for like 50 cents. It's a Christmas card with a note from me inside it. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I have a, a photocopied note that I use. Some crayons. A little frisbee that has John 316 on the front. Just a little scratch pad from a local printer. Um, if you have a bindery or a print shop near you, they may give you a whole box of little scratch pads if you ask. A puzzle. It's just a 24 piece puzzle of Noah's Ark. Um, but since the box is so big, there's a lot of extra room. The puzzle is from Dollar Tree but the puzzle itself only takes up about to there. So I always put more things in it if I want to include the box. Sometimes I cut out the picture on the box and just put the picture in a baggie with the pieces, but because this picture kind of wraps around, and I like these boxes, I decided to keep it in. So in the box, there's this pencil sharpener and some underwear, it looks like. We've got a pair of underwear. There's his pencil sharpener. I made sure it was dual hole so it would handle both kinds of pencils. Um, that's a Office Depot brand. Um, looks like we got a pair of socks in here too. And then you can see the puzzle's like way down there. So that's that. And then I found these at Hobby Lobby. Um, when they cleared out their playside creations. So this is an inflatable Noah's Ark, which is fun. It was on clearance for 74 cents. So when this gets there, you can blow it up and there's a toy Noah's Ark. Uh, which was the inspiration for this box. All right, then we've got some stickers. We've got Go Diego Go. Some of these, they're supposed to be envelope seals. These are also from Hobby Lobby when they had their clearance, I think. Or maybe this is somewhere else. I think this is, this is Hobby Lobby. This came with the flip-flops that the gal gave to me. Um, and we've got a set of basic flashcards just with numbers. Um, I like the basic flashcards that'll work in any language. So these have the number and the word, but they've also got the quantity of animal on there. So like this is two snakes, five butterflies, so on and so forth. So I thought that would work nicely um, for this age group to learn numbers. Got some flat things here in the bottom of the box. Some people like to put their notebooks and things in the back and flip them, like squish them over the top. I prefer not to do it that way because it makes my lids bulge. So I usually put things down in the bottom and curl them up the back. All right, there's some more stickers, Christmas stickers. In the very bottom, there was a board book, uh, my friend Noah. So it's got the story of Noah's Ark in it just a little bit. It's just a tiny little book. This is from Easter at Walmart. So after Easter, I got it for 20 cents when they went to 90% off. That's a good time to find books is uh, Easter time and val after Valentine's at Walmart. You can get some really good deals on books. And here he's got a Noah's Art coloring and sticker book. And I cannot remember which store I got this from, but it's got a lot. This was also an Easter. And they have... Noah's Ark associated with Easter, but they do. And then a notebook, wide rule. So, so I'm gonna find another stuffy, I think, to put in here with Mr. Giraffe to take up that hole that you saw at the beginning. But otherwise, there we have a Noah's Ark themed box for a little boy aged two to four. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Thank you for watching.